President, uh, Commissioner Wren, in your opening remarks, you declared your deep respect for the principles of democratic scrutiny. I have to ask you whether there is a room inside the Commission where you can leave that deep respect while you get on with your work. Because the reality is that the European Commission, in collaboration with the establishment political parties across Europe, have displayed a deep contempt for any democratic rights throughout the course of the crisis. With the six-pack, with the austerity treaty, now with the two-pack, you have undermined the basic democratic right of elected governments to decide on economic and budgetary policy. As always in these institutions, this is shrouded in euphemisms that are largely the defence of the indefensible, as George Orwell said. So let me remove the veil of euphemism. The enhanced surveillance being referred to here means the placing of governments into administration. It provides a legal basis for the semi-colony status of many countries now within the European Union. It means the further technocratisation of economic policy and includes a mechanism to force countries into austerity programmes. This is all a means for you to employ yet more failed austerity policies, failed from the point of view of the millions, but they work from the point of view of the multimillionaires who you and the establishment parties represent.